who you love and who you want to be hugging. Zipping on your ninja honcho with Sanisha and Rhonda. What? I can style you. I can style you. I can style you better than she can. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Tasha. Come with you guys with another spring outfits video. And we still shop in our closet, baby. We are still shopping our closet and remixing the things, okay? But before we get into the looks that I have for y'all today, because they're going to give, we have a sponsorship. Okay, today's video is sponsored by Shaper Mint. You guys know that I have worked with Shaper Mint previously. We have an ongoing partnership, and they sent me their new Cotton Comfort bralette and the matching shaping Cotton Comfort panty okay i always get asked if i wear shapewear i'm not a shapewear girl okay we're going to get into the shapewear things in the next clip I'm going to go over what they sent me i actually tried it on so you guys can see what it's giving on the real body okay <laughs> so you can see what it's giving and so you guys can get an idea of like if you are interested in it and so you guys can see the compression okay now y'all know i don't really like <laughs> being on youtube with little naked okay so I'm going to show y'all the things real quick, okay? Real, 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 real quick, okay? So, if you're new, hey, boo, my name is Tasha. I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Mainly fashion, plus size fashion, apple shape fashion for my apple shape. Girls, so my OG, thank you for your girl to see on. Don't forget to follow me at Tasha.BStyles on Instagram. Let's get into what Shaper Bent sent me and then get into the clip of me showing y'all what it really looks like. Mm, and then we're going to get into the fashion girl things. Y'all right? I can style you. I can style you better than she can. Okay, so Shaper Mint, like I said, sent me their Cool Comfort Cotton Bralette and then the matching Cool Comfort Cotton Smoothing Panty, okay? So they sent me the Shaping um, Bralette and Panty in pink and the Heather Gray. The Heather Gray is what I'm going to show you guys in the live clip and then i also got it in black okay now like i said i'm always asked about shapewear especially being apple shape i am not a shapewear girly i feel like shapewear on apple shapes because that's where we carry our weight and we're so heavy in our midsection shapewear even if it's compressing i'm talking about with the hooks and all that stuff it's it will smooth you out for sure but it makes you look pregnant okay so for me i've just learned how to style my body appropriately with my clothes so like i said if you guys are watching my channel me doing tapered waisted pants but pleating that helps me i'm not really into dresses so much but when i do do a dress or a skirt it's going to be a pleated skirt or a slip skirt which i'm going to style up a slip skirt and a pleated skirt in this video um and then i like to do wide leg pants sweatpants things like that so things that draw attention from me in that area i just learned how to style my body where i don't need shapewear okay but i know some people still just want the comfort of shapewear so let's go over the panties which i said you guys are going to see this in the clip when we trying the things on okay <laughs> so with the cool comfort smoothing panty it's not compressing, but it's going to smooth you. So as you guys know, if you're wearing like regular traditional underwear and you have a stomach, especially if you're heavy in that area, you I, I understand why some people may want to wear shapewear regardless of what your body type is. Because sometimes when you carry a lot of weight in your stomach and you're walking, your stomach is moving. Especially like if you're wearing a dress or a skirt or maybe like a sweatpants, something that's not so compressing. You may have like a little shaking or movement in your stomach. So you want like the shape where to hold you in so you don't have that. So I understand that you can be a little jiggly. So with these underwear, it has the compression, okay? So you're not going to be shaking, okay? Your stomach is going to be smooth and slightly compressed. Not compressing in, as far as like not being comfortable, but compressing as far as your stomach is not going to be shaking, okay? So this is what the underwear look like. As you guys can see how the band is. So this is the front. This is 
the back and this is in pink now they sent me a 1x and everything and i asked for a 2x so i did have to ask them to please resend me the bralettes in a 2x because the 1x was too tight and i had spillage but i did end up keeping the 1x in the panties now i told y'all before i got a twinkie butt i got the hump at the top and i got the cup at the bottom i'm missing the middle okay so these underwear if you don't mind it being a little cheeky, because it's going to give a little cake, like a little cake by the pound, like y'all going to see it in the clip, then get the 1X, okay? If you don't mind it being a little cheeky, okay? But if you don't want that and you are like my size, I always have my measurements in the description box, then go ahead and get the 2X so you can have full of coverage. Now, it looks like it's full coverage, okay, <laughs> based on this, but... It's eating them up, okay? And I don't have no butt and it's eating it up, okay? So, you know, the girls that got the butt, <laughs> you definitely going to be eating it up. But it's not uncomfortable. It's just like, it's a little cheeky. And it may, you know, go in your butt like, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, it just depends on, you know, what you want to give. Or if you just want to be in the house and just use this like a cute, comfy, like, in the house, you know, situation or whatever. It just really depends on what you want. So, these are, this is the bralette in pink. Okay, so it does have padding. The padding is not removable. Okay, so it does have padding. I do have some lift in this because I normally wear a 40D in the butterfly bra. It's the only bra that I wear from Ashley Stewart. And I like to be supported and lifted, okay? I don't want no saggy titties, okay? So I do have some support in this. I am separated and lifted. I feel comfortable. This is the back. I do have a little smoothing across my back in this. Like I said, you guys will see it in the clip. And like I said, I already wore the black when they sent me the gray. I'm gonna show you guys the gray. They sent me pink and black. I already wore the black set. So it says offers innovative intimates that let you feel truly comfortable, free to be your own one of a kind self. Okay, so this is a true kind brand by Shaperman. So let's get into the clip of me showing y'all what it's given. <laughs> okay, and let's go ahead and get into the fashion girl things. I'm going to also, the pieces that I'm styling up, I am going to keep the bralette and the um, underwear on. The stuff that I have, I should be fine when I'm styling for you guys. If I need to change the bra, I will let you guys know when I change the bra, if I have to change the bra. But I plan on showing you guys these looks with the bra and panties on. Okay, let's get into the things. Okay, guys, so here is the Cool Comfort Cotton Bralette with the matching Cool Comfort Shaping Panty. Okay, this is in gray. And I just decided to pair it with my faux gray robe. This used to be with a cardigan that I got a couple of years ago from H&M and I just turned it into a robe job. Okay. <laughs> so I just thought it fit the vibe of what we're doing. So as you guys can see, let's turn to the side. I am supported. Okay. As you guys can see, I do have some lift. This is not like the typical sports bra where it's sagging. You can't tell your titties on your stomach, okay? <laughs> We're a little lifted and supported and separated, okay? So, for reference, I am a 40D in the Ashley Stewart Butterfly Bra, which is the only bra that I wear. So, that's the only bra that <laughs> really matters for reference for me, okay? So, I'm a 40D in the Ashley Stewart Butterfly Bra. I am wearing a 2X in this bralette. And then in the matching panty, I am wearing a 1X. Now, when I sent them my order, okay, I asked for a 2X and everything. And they sent me a 1X and everything initially. I had tried on the panty. So when I reached out to my point of contact, I'm like, the panties are fine. Just resend me the bras, okay? Now, I wore the black pair. They sent me three pairs. They sent me the gray, black, and they sent me a pink. I should have got the 2X because they do compress and smooth. And it's not like a tight compression. It's just like smoothing. You know how like when you wear regular underwear, especially if you have a stomach, if they don't have any support and you're walking, like your stomach is shaking and moving. I don't have that with these, okay? So it's definitely giving compression, okay? But these underwear are a little... And they're a little cheeky, okay? So, I ain't going to give y'all a full term, but y'all can see they're a little cheeky. And y'all know, I told y'all, 
I got a Twinkie butt. You know what I'm saying? I got the hump at the top. I got the cuff on the bottom and I'm missing the middle. But these is giving pound cake by the pound, baby. Okay, so if you don't have a butt, okay, if you got the Twinkie butt like me, then you might want the one X. You know what I'm saying? You might want the one X. Like if you just plan on wearing these around the house and you got like a little boo thing, you might just want to do the one X. You know what I'm saying? Because it's giving cake by the pound. And then I have to see how they look in some jeans. Um, because I feel like it might <laughs> It might give a little dumb. We'll see. We're going to test it out in the trial on portion. But for the most part, I like the fact that it, they're high-waisted, okay? And it's giving some shape and it's smoothing. And I don't have any jiggle in my stomach, okay? So, again, 1X in the panty. Okay, you want to give cake by the pan. If you want, you know, regular regular. Then go ahead and get the two X if you my size. And then, like I said, I'm wearing the two X in the bra. And this is what the bra looks like in the back. So I do feel like it is smoothing. Okay. And y'all know how I feel about my back fat. <laughs> okay. So I do feel like it's a little smoothing in my back. Okay. So what y'all think about the smooth and comfort? bralette in the panty let me show you guys the pink so again this is in gray and then this is the pink okay as you guys can see it does have a little padding in it and the padding is not removable so this is what the padding looks like on the inside and it's really smooth okay so like the padding feels like a regular bra okay so that's the pink and then this is the matching panty for the pink pair okay so that's the front and this is the back so it looks a little full coverage in the back when i promise y'all we eating these up okay <laughs> that's why i'm not even going to show y'all this is the front and then like i said I got the black, but I want the panties for the black. So this is the bra for the black. So let's get into the styling portion of the video. I am going to keep these undergarments on. I feel like for most of the stuff that I'm styling for you guys that this bra will be fine if i have to switch out the bra i will let y'all know but i want you guys to see how the bra and underwear looks under your clothes let's get into the lookbook okay y'all so this is look number one i'm going to step back so you guys can see it okay i'm gonna y'all spins okay so this is a look that i would wear like to run errands but i still want to be cute or I could wear this to work because you guys know that I'm in a dress down work environment. So it really just depends. You may can wear this to work if you're in a dress down environment. But my thought process was running errands and I want to be cute. Okay. So I have on a distressed denim shirt that is old from Zara. And then I paired it with these green wide leg sweatpants that I got from H&M that are also old. And then I'm using my Gucci clutch. And then just for a little razzle dazzle, I threw on my cow print clogs because clogs are still on trend. Animal print is still on trend for shoes. So I just wanted to go ahead and play around with color, texture, and print. And then I went ahead and added my aviator shades from the resupply store. And I'm still wearing my Bottega dupes from Amazon and my Rolex dupe from Amazon. Okay. <laughs> so how do y'all feel about this look? Okay. So cute. Think about going to the mall. Okay. Think about maybe you want to go grab lunch, but you're not going to wear like super fancy, but you still want to be cute. If you want to wear this to brunch, like this could be like a cute chill brunch outfit as well. Like I said, if you're in a dress on environment, this could slide to work. But these are how you can, this is the way that you can rework your pieces. Your sweatpants, your denim shirt, have fun with your shoes. And I'm still wearing the shaping um underwear from shape of as you guys can see 
I don't have any jiggle or anything like that in my stomach. Still have on the sports bra as well. So if you learn how to style and proportion your body in your plus size with a stomach that shakes, okay, you won't have to worry about doing shapewear, okay? This is a look that does not require shapewear, okay? So how do you guys feel about look number one? And then y'all know I love to, I love to pop a collar. I love to pop a collar, okay? I feel like popping a collar just elevates the look. So, y'all need one more spin? Let me get one more spin. Also, I feel like this would be a cool teacher outfit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the elementary school kids, like kindergartners, like they would eat this look up, especially like with the little shoes. And then a high school teacher, like, is after giving you the fashion girl at the high school. Okay. So this for my teachers. This is still cute and comfortable. You can walk around and get the things at the school. Let's get into look number two. Y'all ready? Hey okay, y'all, so this is look number two. Look number two, I just remixed it on y'all. Like I told you, sometimes behind the scenes, I be doing stuff, okay? So I switched out the shoe that I had planned for this look, but I feel like it low-key gives a vibe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So this is like low-key, like a monochromatic look. This is that cardigan that came out in that Future Collective collection last year, I think, with the Lean A. I think is how you say her name. I never even wore this cardigan out, okay? <laughs> Haven't even worn it. Then I just paid it with the white Shaper Mint Essential Tea. And then I have on my blue um, linen cotton blend um, pants from H&M. And then I kept the cow print shoes, the uh, clogs. So what y'all think about the cow print mules with this look? Like I feel like it adds a little interest, but you low key can barely see it though. Cause I was planning on doing my white coach low line sneakers. So you can do a white sneaker. If you have the Sambas, you could do the Sambas with this look. But I feel like the cow print claw kind of give it like a little interest. What y'all think? But this is another look that you could wear to work. I would definitely wear this to work. Okay, this is a look that if you want to, like if your style is kind of like a preppy casual vibe, like this is a look that you could still wear out to go on errands. But this is a look that I probably would where to the office so what do you guys think about this look i'm going to get some spins so i need one more spin let me y'all one more spin okay let's get into look number three let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the shoes with this look I like it. Okay, guys. So this is a going out look. I know it's still kind of, you know, cold right now. So this is the time to still get use out of your faux leather jackets, faux leather blazers, your boots, faux leather tops. Okay, this is the time to start pulling those things out by still a little cow. Okay, so this is like a cute rooftop vibe look. Or if you want to, you know, take this to brunch, it's definitely giving fashion girl okay so let me let y'all got spins first let me let y'all get into it y'all need one more spin let me get y'all one more spin okay so we are doing a full monochromatic look okay this is a cream oversized moto jacket that I got, I think, like two years ago from Zara has silver hardware. A couple of months ago, one of my stubbies told me that she had an oversized moto jacket. She didn't know how to style it. Just scrunch the sleeves up, okay? In the fall and winter, it being oversized works in your benefit because you can layer with it with your heavier knitwear. Keep your oversized moto jackets. They still get the things, okay? So we got the oversized cream moto jacket. We're still working with the Shaper Mint Essential Tea. And then I have my cream satin slip skirt that you guys have seen before from H&M. And then my cream slouchy boots. Went back to the shades. We're still working with the same accessories. And then I pulled the silver and gold pornography bag that was sent to me for review. Just to tie in everything. So, this is like... Who she thinks she is? Pressure. <laughs> 
who she thinks she is. Prasha. Who wants check her? Okay. So, simple, easy, cute. Faux leather moto jacket. A, a basic. I always tell y'all. Get you y'all basic tops. Satin slip skirts. Always gonna get. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Some cream slouchy boots. A monochromatic look gonna eat every single time. Like I said, yeah. <laughs> Pop your collar, okay? Eat the girl up. So how y'all feel about this look? Okay. And as you guys can see, I mean, still wearing the um. Shaping my underwear. So, me walking. This is a dress. I say dress. This is a skirt that you. I would have movement in my stomach. Now, what's also compressing me is the shaper mat. Shaping tee. This has compression, and the shirt comes all the way down as well. So, I have the shirt and I have the underwear. Okay. So, with this, this is a skirt that if I didn't have something compressing me then I would have the shaking in my stomach because of the type of material this is. So we are good, okay? There's no shaping. There's no shaking in the stomach, okay? It's giving the things. So this is my favorite look so far. Y'all need one more spin before we get to the next one. Let me go one more spin. Okay, y'all, let's go to the next look. Okay, guys, so here's look number four. So this is like an edgy, preppy look, okay? Again, this is another look that you can be cute out and about running errands. So if you guys remember the cargo pants that I cut, when I had cut them like down here, I decided to go ahead and just make them above the knee. I feel like I would get more use out of them at this length as far as like the versatility of it. And then I just went ahead and paired it with my striped button up shirt. And then I haven't styled my farm Rio cardigan in a very long time. Added my personality glasses just to play on the preppy vibe. And then my combat boot slash Mary Jane boots from Zara. So how do you guys feel about this look? Yeah, so this is a cute, fun, preppy look. I would wear this too. I told you it's the art gallery that I want to go to. So I'm thinking that something like a little fun and artistic, like going to like a museum, art gallery, out and about like sightseeing type of situation. And then I can always take the cardigan off if I get hot and roll up the sleeves on the shirt because it's very lightweight and flowy and these shoes are comfortable to walk. So y'all need one more spin? Okay let's get into look number five. Y'all ready? Y'all before we get into this look <laughs> come try and get my attitude and get my energy back together because this Instacart dude just pissed me off and I had to, and I hate cursing people out. I swear I do. I swear I do. Let me tell y'all this real quick. <laughs> I did an Instacart order. Okay. So I got a bunch of meat, a bunch of vegetables, what have you. Right. So the guy, he drops my stuff off. Now, normally I paid a little extra $2 for priority because I hate getting Instacart people that shop multiple orders because it never fails. Either something of mine to be missing or I'm getting somebody else's stuff, right? So the guy, he drops everything off and I seen in the picture that he took to let me know that my delivery been dropped off. There was a bag of ice that I ain't asked for, right? So I bring everything in the house, go through everything. I got all my stuff. And then it was a bag of Vienna sausages. I'm like, I definitely didn't order that because I don't even eat that. So I'm like, this ice and Vienna sausage, somebody else's stuff, right? Now I ordered a pack of chicken thighs. But I had ordered a small pack. There was like four or five chicken thighs, right? But I had ordered a big pack of wings and then I had a big pack of chicken thighs. Now, I'm in the middle of filming, obviously. So when he came, I'm like, let me just hurry up and break this big pack of wings and thighs down. I'm not even thinking that I didn't order a big pack of chicken thighs. Nonetheless, he gone. Okay, he's already gone. So I'm like, let me hurry up and break this chicken down, throw it in Ziploc bags so I can get back to filming. I even clean the chicken. Normally, I clean it before I break it down in a Ziploc bag, but I normally don't even buy big packs of chicken. But y'all know food's so high now, so I'm trying to 
Okay. So I'm like, I just clean it whenever, you know, I need it or whatever. I just want to break it down, put it in the freezer. So I'm back to filming. He been gone for like 15, 20 minutes. I get a knock at the door. I'm thinking it's FedEx because I switched my bank and I asked for my car to be expedited. So I look out the window. I'm like, I don't see no FedEx truck. So I'm like, who's knocking at my door? I open up the door. FedEx and dropped a little envelope at the door but it's the instacart guy right so he was like he was coming back because he delivered some groceries that wasn't mine i said yeah the ice and the vienna sausages again i'm not even thinking about this chicken you know what i'm saying this extra pack of chicken because i'm in here doing this right so he was like the ice and the vienna sausage and it was like a big pack of chicken right and i'm moving so fast i didn't even realize that like I said, I got two things of chicken. So I'm like, I got a pack of chicken in my order too. Some thighs too. So he was like, yeah, but it was a big pack of chicken. So I'm like, I got a big pack of chicken too. Again, I'm not, my mind is all over the place, right? So I was like, well, nonetheless, I done already broke the chicken down and put it in Ziploc bag. I can give you the ice bag and the Vienna sausages is still inside the bag. But I threw it in the trash, in the trash room, but it's sitting on top, okay? And so he going to say... Are you being honest with me right now? Because it's a family that's not going to eat tonight. Yeah, because of you. <laughs> she ain't going to eat her chicken tonight because of you. you know I'm saying if you just shocked and I watched him. Okay. He parked in front of my window. Okay. All the bags that was in his trunk. He delivered them at my door. You got her stuff mixed up with my order. So if you know that you shopped multiple orders and every bag in the car you done bought to my door. That's on you because you're unorganized, sir. Okay. She ain't eating tonight because of you. I don't know what to tell you because I already broke the chicken down, baby. So either you're going to go back to the store and let them know what happened. Or you're going to take whatever it costs out your own pocket to go get her another pack of chicken. Or she's going to have to dispute it on her Instacart and get the credit back for the chicken. But I already broke the chicken down. But when he told me something, are you being honest with me? When I say I wanted to punch this, <laughs> this boy in his dad going on throat, like, sir. Like, he got me so hot right now, y'all. I want to take his tip back so bad and give him a bad review because I know it's hard out here and it's your livelihood. Like, I'm not even going to play with you like that. But don't talk about, am I being serious right now? And you messed up? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you playing with the right one on the wrong day, baby. <laughs> don't, don't, don't make. The other side of me come out because I will happily <laughs> take your tip back and leave you a bad review. Don't play with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You made us. And then it took you 20 minutes to realize, dad, I dropped everything. And he went back in the trash and got her vegan sausages out the trash. Like, here's the ice. And you get the vegan sausages out the trash. The chicken's already broke down. <laughs> it's already broke down. And like I said, I'm not even thinking about this chicken because I'm trying to hurry and get back to doing what I'm doing. And now I gotta get my energy back together. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the outfit, okay. <laughs> Before he made me mad. <laughs> Let me put it back together. Okay. So this look we're having fun. We're color blocking. I got on those purple faux leather joggers. It's like my black ones you remember I cut them. And then I decided to Pair it with this cardigan that's like a little crop. It's thinner. It's like that poppy, um, like that poppy orange reddish color. And then I'm still working with the chunky boots. And I added the zebra clutch because I just wanted this outfit to be fun. Like this is fun, edgy. It's cute. You can go to brunch. I like it rolled under. You can go to brunch in this. Whatever you want to do on your time, baby. If you want to go shopping. Whatever you feel like. So, how do y'all feel about this look? And then these day one. <laughs> Underwear. Keep going in my dad's one butt. <laughs> so, and as y'all can see, like, it's giving me some smoothing. Okay. A little tummy control. So, how do you guys feel about this color block look? I really do like this. It's fun. It's edgy. It's vibrant, okay? It's doing the things. Y'all need one more spin? Let me give y'all one more spin. <laughs> <sighs>
Hey, right, I'm gonna do one more look because my energy is completely off. Like my energy is completely off. And it's gonna it's gonna take me a minute to get it back together. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one more look and then we're gonna wrap up this video. But I'm not going I'm not gonna take this step though. But he did piss me off. Like I had to cool down for like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm still <laughs> okay, when I'm way calmer than what I was, but <laughs> he's about to take me there, like for real. But let's do this last look and wrap up this video, y'all. They're gonna ask the car before this next video. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the last look. I wanted to do like a play on like a fun, like retro 80s look, and also still play around with a trend. So you guys know leopard print is always on trend all the time, but leopard print is one of those prints that's like really on trend for this spring season. So I wanted to play around with my leopard print shirt, which I cut, if y'all remember, <laughs> this was a shirt dress, right? But I realized that I wear it more as a shirt and tucking it into pants and things like that. And because it was like a dress, it was just so much fabric. So I cut it to about right here so I can be able to tuck it into my pants. Y'all, I've been <laughs> cutting up some stuff, okay? And then I'm working with my mom, 80 jeans from Abercrombie. Yeah, Abercrombie Fish and I have my red mules. And then I just went back to my aviator shade. So this is like a retro 80s look, like a cool mom 80s look. Kind of giving me a mouth. <laughs> hey, Miss Lucy and Marquisha Child. So, how do y'all feel about this look? <laughs> y'all, I tell y'all, I'm about to put some regular underwear on because <laughs> these um underwear from a uh, shaper man, baby. I'm telling you, my little cakes is eating it up. So, do y'all need one more snuggle? We got. Okay, y'all. So, this is the last look. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and <laughs> my impromptu story time child with the Instacart dude. <laughs> See y'all in the next video. I love y'all.